So we're going to get into the house wall. And uh, this is glows with the same theme of graffiti. Um, this one's super special because this is actually in my house. And um, it was the first graffiti art that I got to have in my house that is like still preserved, still looks amazing. Um, so keeping in line with uh, the same theme as the Venice wall, um, we wanted to go ahead and get a um, another graffiti video. And this one was the house wall. And once again, you know, I, I called on my guy Braggs, uh, asked if he can please, you know, um, hook us up with a design. Uh, he was like, yep, definitely I can get you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this one, we tried a little bit of everything on that day. Uh, so we had Braggs come in. I told him when the chaotic on the wall, um, you know, he did his thing. And in the meantime, we actually went ahead and interviewed Braggs uh, for a show. I think it was uh, the moment of chaos. Um, and then after we interviewed Braggs, we had our skate team there and we went ahead and interviewed the skate team as well. Um, and, uh, it was kind of like a party, you know what I'm saying? We had food, we had drinks, we had everybody coming in and out. Um, you know what I mean? Um, Braggs did his thing all day, um, you know, and, uh, basically transformed my living room wall into a whole graffiti art piece. And it's crazy because I see it and I've seen it so much that I don't notice it. But when people do come over to the house, that is one of the first things they actually kind of comment on or notice. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, but with the same theme, like I said, we let Braggs go ahead and uh, do his thing. Uh, let him go ahead and uh, do his art, his talent. He asked if he had any ideas. I showed him a couple ideas and he just went to town. Uh, once again, amazing colors, amazing things like that. Um, and we went ahead and pulled this of uh, this design off of the wall and made it into another T-shirt. And uh, if you listen to the story of the Venice project, uh, this is the kind of the same thing had, you know, a tons of colors, super expensive, but it was so dope because um, I can actually, you know, wear my T-shirt and I still have this wall that I get to look at every morning. And it kind of kept within the theme of what we we're doing, you know, letting the artist go ahead and take his vision or his uh, design of what he thought would be the best for the company. And we let, you know, we had another one in the in the bag. And on, on that same note, um, we also had another graffiti video, which I really liked. Um, and I still want to get into more of that. You know, I would definitely love uh, to keep a graffiti video every every month if I could. Um, but, you know, I just haven't had the means to do that yet. Um, but it gave us another opportunity to kind of establish ourselves as, you know, underground hip hop. Um, you know, uh, establish the elements. Uh, we have another graffiti video in the, in the books. And, um, you know, to be honest, you know, I might be biased because, like I said, this graffiti piece is in my house. But it's one of the best graffiti uh, videos and graffiti arts I've ever seen. Uh, even to this day, I think we did that video maybe a year later. So maybe 2014. And uh, this wall looks immaculate still. You know, um, I wouldn't let anybody touch the wall. Um, I still won't let anybody touch the wall, but it is actually one of the projects that kind of helped us propel and keep us going into exactly what we needed to keep going into as far as visually designing our T-shirts and visually getting a representation of hip hop. 